You're watching the fourth video in a series of tutorials to help you learn how to use Filmora 9, the fun to use, easy to learn video editor for all creators. By watching our tutorials, you can learn everything you need to know to create your own videos in Filmora 9. Hey everyone, I'm Caleb, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through some editing basics in Filmora 9. In this video, you will learn how to add media to your timeline, how to move clips around on the timeline, how to split and delete clips, and how to change clip duration. Here's an example of a simple cut or edit in a video. If we have clips in the media library up here, we can click the green plus symbol to add the clip in where your playhead is. You can also drag the clip from the media library to the timeline wherever you want it. The window that comes up will let you match your project settings with your media. You can click the check mark right here if you want the program to leave your settings as they are and stop asking you. If you're dropping an image into your timeline, you might not want to match the settings because the picture might not be the same settings as your video. Or maybe you're adding some slow motion footage shot at a separate frame rate. In that case, you don't want to match the settings to footage that isn't meant for slow motion. It's a good idea to verify your project settings before you start editing to avoid any issues. In this example clip, I want to cut out the camera movement so that we go right from the window to the clock. I'm going to move the playhead to the end of the window section and click the scissor icon to create a cut. I can also use the shortcut Control b on Windows or Command b on Mac. I'll be sure to go through the other features of the timeline in the timeline tutorial. After that, I'll move to the start of when we see the clock and click the scissors again. Now I'll click on the middle section to select it and click the trash can icon to delete the center clip. You can also press delete on your keyboard to delete the clip. Now there's a big gap in between the two clips. You can close the gap by clicking and dragging the clip on the right to meet the clip on the left like this. Let's say you want to let a list of the window at the start. Let's just grab the left side of the clip and drag it to make it shorter. It's also going to tell you how much time you're taking off the clip where it says reduced. If you want a specific duration, just right click the clip and select speed and duration. You can change the duration and speed of a clip here as well as play a clip in reverse by clicking reverse speed. There's another way to do this type of editing that lots of people use and that would be using in and out points. Let's head to the clip again, but this time I'll double click it, not on the plus button. This video will show up on the right side of the screen here. If I click the I key, this will set an in point. If I click the O key, this will set an out point. You can also use the mark in and mark out buttons located right here. Then, we drag the clip from the media area to the timeline, and it'll be cut just how we want it. We can now do the same thing with the other part of the clip and put them together on the timeline. You can put two clips together on your timeline by dragging each clip from the media area to the timeline and placing them in the order you want them. And there you have it! You can now cut out unwanted sections of a clip, change clip duration, and edit some clips together. Thanks for watching! Check out our other tutorials to learn how to edit a video from start to finish on Filmora 9.